So if you're midway up on a climb and you stick your fingers in a handhold and a scorpion bites your fingers or, you know, some other section, a bird or a bat yeah, flies yeah. out or a rock falls, the unexpected, how yeah, do you so, deal with that? Yeah, I mean, that does happen like a fair amount. And and that's when you do get like a shot of adrenaline or like a shot of fear and you like your, your breathing accelerates and you're like, oh gosh. And that's when you just have to like, force yourself to take some deep breaths and calm yourself down and just deal with it. Though oftentimes those things, by the time they've happened, it's, it's already happened and done. So even though you get scared for a second, you're like, well, it's done. It's like the situation is already resolved. So then rationally you can just be like, this is, you know, moving on, here we go. Any close calls? I mean, all those things that you described have happened, you know, like scorpions, like bats, birds you know, bees. I mean, any close calls though where, you know, you're free soloing and that happens and um, you have that kind of... No, I've never you, like... You catch yourself. The closest with, calls have been breaking holds, like pulling rocks off. You know, I've had a, like something where, you know, I pulled a rock off and like as I'm leaning back with the rock with me, I've managed to like shove the rock back into place and sort of like catch my balance and like stay on the wall. Okay. Like, whoa. And I've had like scrambling in the mountains, not quite like free soloing on a vertical wall, but like climbing a big peak in the mountains. I've like pulled some rocks off and then done some like Super Mario type jumps where you like jump to a ledge, jump to another ledge and sort of stick it with all these rocks falling past you. And you're like, whoa, that was close. You know, things like that. So the most frightened I understand you've ever been climbing was just on a typical conventional rope climb. I think you were with your girlfriend at the time. Yeah, yeah, I've written um, that up. Like, um, what, what about that it was so scary? Um, well, I mean, so that whole anecdote is like when you're climbing with a rope on, you're more willing to push yourself like further and further because you just keep thinking, if I go a little more, I'll get some good piece of gear in or like, you know, you're willing to like push a little more because you have that safety. You have like more of a margin. But so it means that you can get yourself into these situations where like you would never get yourself free soloing because free soloing, you look and be like, oh, I, I want no part of that. And you climb back down. Right. But with a rope, you're like, well, I'll just try a little bit and just see how it is. And then you start you get into something and you're like, oh, I can't reverse that now because, you know, like you do things when you're roped up that like you wouldn't do so long. And so, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I've, I've had a couple like pretty scary experiences with the rope. So what, would the, what was the actual situation there? I mean, it's almost like too technical and long to okay. describe properly, but it's like basically I just like climbed really, really far and I couldn't get any protection in. And I, any protection meaning you couldn't, I couldn't get, get, I couldn't get gear into the rock. Okay. So I couldn't clip my rope to anything. So the thing is, I mean, even if you have a rope on, if you're like 100 feet above your last piece of gear, you're looking at taking a 200 foot fall. And so, I mean, it's like, sweet, you have a rope on, but you're still gonna fall 200 feet. Like, that'd still be a disaster. <laughs> right. um, I mean, you might be okay, but you might break both your legs and like bleed out on the side of the wall or something. It's like, who knows? Um, yeah, so I mean, it was an experience like that where I like thought I could go further and then like the rock got really bad and I couldn't get any protection. And then there were like these big loose blocks that looked like um, if I pulled on them, they might fall off and then chop my rope, which is another way you could die with the rope on. Um, I don't know, it was just like a long drawn out thing. So and also my topo was incorrect, like the little map I have that showed me where the route's supposed to go. Um, it turns out it just was an error. So like what I was doing was quite a bit harder than I thought it was supposed to be. And so it was all just like, oh my God, this is too hard. This feels wrong. Like everything's going bad. It's like scary. For more clips from this interview, visit GrahamBensinger.com.